Today's video has a bit of a theme. I don't think this usual area is going to be enough for everything that we have to do today. Because on this side of the room, I went and fetched pretty much every single 98.73% Electrolux thing, vacuum cleaner part. I've made a spreadsheet of exactly what we've got today, what it's got with it, whether I've done the videos. We've already used it for 12 vacuums in 12 months and I want to see exactly what there is. Check that everything's got anything free probably need to be sold and we're just going to have ourselves a good old random Electrolux video. Let's have a look. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner and Electrolux chums. How are you today? Yes, over the many years of Echo 1997. Oh, there's the fan. I can't even unplug my fan because all the cables underneath all of this lot. Yeah, over the years, we've had a few Electrolux vacuum cleaners, most of which now have been refurbished. There is a couple that haven't. There's even one that. I completely forgot I had. I've got a dolphin that I put at the back of the loft and then completely forgot about. Look, boxed up in 2020. So that'll be cool to see if it's gone yellow or not. Here's the glider, a recent one. And there's even more in the hallway. There's even bags and bags of stuff. So I want to check that all the machines have all their stuff and, you know, go through them really and check how they're surviving. Let's make a start. I think we'll start with these two here. My twin not Turbo 2 and Electrolux Glider. And essentially, these machines are exactly the same. They have the same motor. They have the same everything, pretty much. But obviously, one is more of a twin turbo than the other. But they both share the same market space. They both probably retailed for about the same in the end. Obviously, the glider would have cost more when it came out than this would. But yeah, it's still got a bag in it. I haven't used it on this new rug yet. Let's check it still works. Okay. Oh, there it is. Oh, the brush on the seat. There it is. That's by the way, you've got. So yeah, oh, it's brush hold is stuck quite a bit, but it seems okay. Let's try the glider side by side, see what the difference is. Oh, God. so much stuff everywhere. Let's <laughs> have to say. Just as well. But not quite as well. bit run with that obviously the glider has all of its tools as does this I just left its tools up in the loft but hey ho we'll go and get them another day so that's the first two done these ones I'm gonna put out of the way now because we need to make space to find tools for cylinders or just unpack them and get all of their tools out marvellous well those first two were a roaring success right let's have a look at this which we have seen before, this is my original one, Electrox 345, there's something like car form posted me in a cardboard box with no packaging really, and it survived really well, it's got the usual little chip in the front, but that's okay, and in here, in fact actually in here is the, also probably going to be the tool for this, my Z302, there's, you know, there's a theme there, isn't there? They all look the same. So we may as well get all of their tools out and check that we have everything. Oh. Oh, so there's the very nice, I think, airtight hose that I've got from that. There's the very nice airtight hose 
I have for this. Oh, there's all the random stuff. We don't need that. <laughs> floor head. Oh dear. Floor head. Ah, that's good to know. I did put the ones from this one because in this humongous pile of ones behind me, oh, I did have. Here you go. Yeah, I've got a third one. These ones. Well, may as well go through the differing styles of Electrolux ones. These ones have the small rollover. I don't think the difference in finish is anything to worry about, really. And yeah, these are the shorter style Electrolux ones for basic machines like this. So that is a spare. I was a little bit unsure. Yeah, so that has both of its ones there. Oh yes, it has its butterfly tool and its crevice tool. The 345 has its butterfly and it's crevice. Marvellous. There we go. Two sucky cylinders. Let's let's start with the 345. Oh, here we go. Then it's plugged in and still turned off, so that's good. Oh, ah, haha. This is what we can start to do. Look, this has a perished hose end. Look, it's very perished indeed. Let's change that. Yeah, one of the other reasons for doing this is I've got loads of stuff from Barton's that is for machines that, you know, I knew needed things like that. So that can go in the bin now, and we can fit, ah, get it on the right way. We can fit a nice new one and check it works. There we go, although a different one, that one was just a tad too small, but now... Oh, yeah! Oh, no. I forgot about that. Well, she runs okay, but it's perhaps a little bit tatty. Now, back to ones. The 345 should have the longer one-piece style one. However, I have two types here. One, the rolled-over style, and one, the more modern with the plastic sleeve thing. I think it's going to be the rolled over style that this thing needs. I don't know, it's just, I think it fits it better. Do comment down below if that is right or wrong. We can even put the dusting brush onto the wand. Obviously, the clevis tool you just have to throw away, really. And now, let's check that this thing's acceptable. Before. I told you we've run out of space. I put that 345 in a stupid place. <laughs> down noise seems to have subsided that's very nice indeed obviously we've used it for a month so it's filter that's reasonably clean i say that's okay yeah that is very nice indeed ah if i can remember which way around there it is that goes so we have another one working i, I sort of hoped it would it worked fine when it went away oh yes the nicely tensioned cord wheel. So, ha, fabulous. Another one done. Let's check that. Everything's falling over behind me. This 330 works just as well. Because if we, if we didn't do this that long ago, I don't think we have a bag fitted. Yes, we do. Very nice indeed. Yeah, I'll, we have the original style bag fitted. Oh, yes, it's wearing. A grey back cover that came from Barton. Oh yeah, there's nothing on the back. I mean, it's, it's working well, don't get me wrong, but these two-piece ones are a little bit long. Again, I'm wondering whether it should have had, because it was a basic cylinder, another single-piece rolled over end. I told you we had a lot of ones here. 
Oh, see that's that is better. Sure, I'm going to have to ask that question now. Should the Z3 or look it up? Should the Z330 have two ones or one? I mean, it came with these two, so I guess I'm going to take this one back off and leave these with it for now. But we'll see what we're left with. Right, oh, two more done. The next two Luton lovelies are these fairly old now vintage ZA65s. I've definitely shown one of these on the channel before because I went and had a look six years ago. I don't. I think it was probably that one. It probably wasn't this one. And yeah, I've still done nothing with them. I, I've even got replacement handles. So I think I've got all of their bits together. I seem to have two flexes, so that's good. Ooh, what's on the flexes? This one has a very big chunky boy ever ready. Very nice indeed this one has um it's i think it's a yes it is it's a nettle nothing on there but there at the bottom is some very nice nettle branding I think yes there is one. there's a third electrolux old style flex as well this one has a british made but uh, whatever that is i seem to remember seeing these badge up as british home stores as a child do let me know if i was wrong or not then we have the brush we have and crevice tool i think there is another crevice tool in the shed it's currently raining so we're not going out into the shed then what's in this bag we have one floor head with note the wider brush and then ah where is it come on magical sack we have this other floor head with a narrower one yes two distinct versions oh look at that we have the little radiator brush that goes on the end and that's it for stuff for this in that bag. I don't think there's anything for it in this bag at all. So that just leaves the thing in this bag, which is, and um, those of you who remember the before video have seen this as well. Oh yeah, that and that, another bent end. Oh, I probably haven't got the end that would have gone with it. Yeah, it's all still here. It's all still in the same condition and I would love to get one of these nice I, I think I'm probably only going to ever concentrate oh, on one of them there we go. Look, yep this one has a very clean bag Ooh. what's inside this one this is this is certainly the cleaner body um, ish it will be enough to turn it on without putting dirt in because yeah I think we should check if these work let me just Oh, have a quick shifty at these cables because I think they were okay but obviously it's been quite a while it is going to be plugged into an RCD protected socket so hopefully it shouldn't kill me too badly let's start with this one so we'll plug it in slanted pins on this which go into a slanted pin socket which is missing Ooh. Uh, so it's been so long since I've looked at these. We might as well treat this as a little mini before video. Behind here, look, the post motor filter. I imagine it will run absolutely fine. It just needs... Ah, there it is. There we go. It'll run fine, it just needs a socket. And, you know, I think I might have some of those. This one's probably got its... Yeah, there we go. That one's got its socket. Ooh, the filter looks even more grim than this one, so we're not going to do that one as well. Oh, let's... Yes, I've even got brand new switches for these. I think this one's quite fine there. Oh, look at that. Five plus years in the loft. They're smelling a little bit of carbon, but I will allow it that. This hose is probably complete trash. The hose, she is no good senor no. However, if I lean just over here, to my far too short, slightly butchered, and I regret cutting it down at all now, 
345 hose, which has, and I must try and get some more of these. It came from America though, and I've not seen any more on eBay. Oh no, and it's completely different anyway. Oh, look at that look. Not all Electrolux fittings are made the same. Does it, does it fit in the other one? No, it doesn't. Okay, well, that's that idea. Dead in the water, then I'll have to try and problem is you can't really easily hack another hose onto the ends of these so it's a bit tricky to do oh that's a bit of a show I wonder if we can get it vacuuming because this is the one with the bag fitted and if I look behind me I do have I think these are the correct style ones now these are old now they have these fluted holes here I've actually got three sets of the flipping things one, two, and then a lighter aluminum set here. Well, they are pretty trash. So, you know, at least the machine's got one of each. Again, comment down below, is this correct or am I talking rubbish again? Oh, ah. Oh, God. Ah. Oh, that was a big chunk. I'll just take it out the ceiling. Whoopsie daisy. Then, we can take, we'll take this floor head. Although I think, yeah, there we go, I think that's it. Oh! I think the hose isn't... Oh, it's not actually that bad. That is, I mean, it's ugly as anything, but that is a usable hose. Although, actually, where did I, where did I put... Let me just grab, uh, oh, I'm sure I've got another vacuum with a clicky in clicky out hose like that. We'll have to see if we can find it. But for now, we're going to class this as good enough. And I think in the future, I need to get round to these. These are going to stay down from the loft now. They might stand a chance. We will get at least one of these running as well as we can once more. Right, well, we're going to go very modern, whichever thing we choose next. This is a machine that we unboxed again not terribly long ago. Thank you, Will, for sending this our way along with the Turbo 2, which has gone, and the 345, which is over there somewhere. Right. Yeah, that works absolutely fine. Again, randomly old plug on it, but eh, who cares about that? windmill working well and well with this machine we have well I've got this out of the Barton's box just now and it came with a white not black hose end and a one piece hose which is fine nothing wrong with that at all I mean ironically I do have a black hose sat here this is the hose put that out of the way for a second this is the hose that it should come with it's obviously got the black end the same oh, goodness, same as this white end here but eh we don't really have any of that and I'm wondering if this needs to fight with the 345 over there oh my goodness but this hose isn't for this oh my goodness and it needs a rubber as well does this one fit this one who knows we'll care about that later yeah so that's cool we'll pop this in there safely because all the rest is just going to go into a pile really for now and then we'll work out what's left at the end so this one works fine and can go behind the cap oh my goodness what should we get out next oh uh, let's say hello again to the turbomatic z380 which is sat here since it was refurbished and came out looking absolutely beautiful. It's also got its hose, although I unscrewed the end because it's easy to store. Hose, floor head, crevice tool. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I can't wait for us to play with this a bit more in the coming months. All new suppressive fishes. It's lovely. Yes, Phoenix. This also needs a wand, 
but being from the 1980s, it probably did have this sleeve job with it, and if it didn't, well, what it's having now, and oh, yes, very nice indeed. Again, no way to put your crevice tool, nothing changed there, but oh, put the hose back on, and move on to another vacuum. Another relatively recent one, but again, lovely, 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 is the Electrolux Super, Super, whatever you call it. And in this bag is the hose I have for it, although well, I don't think it's the hose it should have, but it is a hose nonetheless, and actually that's it, bar this floor head, which we'll put over in the pile for later. What I do know is that it's wand, and floor head are there, and of course all of its tools sit very carefully because I had to do a bodge in there, like so. Oh, that's a shame that was broken. Oh. <laughs> it's so randomly powerful, it's amazing. I do quite like it. Fairly much indeed. Oh, there we go. Right, another one off to the side. We're getting through now, folks. That's good. They need to be gone through. I think the next thing that we need to do is look inside this box. Dated the 30th of April 2020. Yeah, I didn't think I'd kept any dolphins. <laughs> I don't even really know what is in this box, although seeing this actually fills me with a little bit of happiness because right here in the random wand piles is the matching wand. These were for the cheapy uprights, both the twin turbo, well, turbo 2 and the glider have those ones. So that's cool, we have a matched pair. I wonder why I put those out of the way, like so. But in here should be a Z 2330A. There's the floor head. There's the hose. I'm sure this is going to be back to being brown. This was a retro bright set. I even post on the box. Retro brighted, boxed up white. Yeah, it's probably going to be white now. Do we only have one wand? We could probably fix that if we do. Yeah, only one wand in that box. But that's fine. Yeah, that's... She's going again. Three years in the loft, and all the edges are just starting to turn. Oh dear, and this tape here probably confirms that I either never got that working too. Oh god, yeah, under there is. Whoa, there it is. I think I got it all right, I just didn't trust it when it went up, <laughs> when it got boxed up. Oh, such a shame, but I'm pretty sure it works as well. Has it got a bag in it? Yeah, it has. Oh, oh what's the light? Oh. As it can be. Yeah, it only came with one wand. Do I have a spare plastic wand? Well, I do, although not of the same colour, but of the same type. We obviously got those two there. They'll be no good. Wouldn't have come with a one piece one. They stopped doing these by that point. Here's some whitey grey ones that I've got. Again, no, nothing to do with this. I'm, I must have got rid of all the ones when I got rid of all the other dolphins. Well, I think these came from oh, that, that job lot from York and then all the tools that followed it down a couple of years ago. That's where these come from. And do you know what? I think actually oh, having metal ones is going to be quite nice because, yeah, they were very, very bendy. Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm. 
don't quite recall why we never got the power control working, but again, I, I didn't think that I still had this. I thought I got rid of all of the dolphins a little while ago when I finished that blue one and was just sick of seeing them. Well, looks like I accidentally kept one. Well, that's nice. Um, yeah, there we go. And I think, oh, I was right but wrong. I've got a manual pack for a dolphin, but it's, I think, the wrong generation. It's the generation after this. This is one of the first generations, I think, with that bag door. Well, that's a little bit of a bother, but equally, it doesn't really, doesn't really matter too much. So, yeah, probably the most modern one. No, not the most modern one. Second most modern one we've got. Oh, excellent. Well, that's one of the big boxes out of the way. Next up is my American Electrolux Automatic G with, thanks to Mr. Scott, it's PN1 power nozzle. Oh, we're not going to get this out to play with right now because, oh, that shouldn't be in there. Blasphemy. We won't get it on now because the adapter is, my adapter, my power converter thing is long gone. Oh, look, we have a spare. I shouldn't be with it. That's a modern one. That's the one that I have with it again. Probably shouldn't go with it either. But there we go. Yeah, and some other older Electrolux tools as well. We had a video on this not terribly long ago when the floor had arrived. And I have done nothing else with it since, sadly. So, yeah, we I guess, really want to get it refurbished. Get the metal. It's not going to come up gleaming. But it will be nice. And... Get a much longer hose fitting because cutting this hose down to match this cable was a stupid idea. I just need to extend this cable to match a longer hose. But I mean, you know, it counts. I mean, you know, we have that in the US, which then turns into these in the UK or Europe. Bless you. Nice to have an older one. So, yeah, there is that one. Oh, we can pack it up a little bit nicer in its box now as well. Backtracking slightly, folks, I've just realised we've forgotten something. With the Turbomatic Z380, see, the thing that makes it a Turbomatic and not just a Z380 is one of these. The Electrolux Turbo Head from the 1980s. And yeah, as you remember, we got one from Barton's. It even matches the same, just about brown, that is on the tools otherwise. I've not tried it with this yet. Spinning. Oh, that was on that now. I think you can tell though, But I have one, so yeah, I, I forgot about that. This is now oh, very complete indeed. Right, where were we? <laughs> You're never going to guess what. It's more Electroluxes. The next Electrolux, and it, it technically legally is an Electrolux, is my One Royal. Yes, and yes, it's going rusty. I haven't seen this for years. It was right at the back of the loft, and oh, this is probably. Just condensation, and yeah, it's 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 quite bad. Bless it. I also forgot just how dented up and scratched up this poor thing is. But it's it's mostly all here. I completely forgot to get the flipping main turbo head down, so that's a pain in the bum. Oh, turn it on. Does it still work? Yeah. Seems to be okay. It's got its hose. It's got its it, it's ever so sleek and stealthy turbo head. It's also got this, and this is probably maybe the most interesting thing that I have with this machine. This is a 
two pronged angle adapter. And oh well, in fact, look, here it is. Oof. If I just leave it on stage, sort of two pronged angled adapter that should fit. Oh, how do you even get it on? Hang on, there's no way to. Oh, that's a stupid example. There, there, there's no way to lift the pins up. Oh my goodness. Um, I think one of the other vacuums has this. We'll keep that out. But this is one of those cables, and I've got two. Yes, this is the one that goes with this machine. There's another one somewhere else. And once I'm sure that I don't need the other one, <laughs> it's going to be used. In fact, this turbo head should plug straight into it as well. So we'll leave that to the side. Oh, the hose is probably fine. It's got yep, the weird handle. That's still okay. Yeah, it's all right. It's just not going to come up fantastically because, yeah, it's all just a bit worn out. I really do need to do something with it, though. I even got a brand new filter for it, which would be nice to fix with it. Ah, there we go. Because, yeah, this one certainly, certainly seems some use. Bless it. But, yeah, it's certainly a lot more suction. And it's on the automatic mode. Very nice indeed. Yeah, this is a machine. Yeah, needs to be. Oh my goodness. Stay, click, don't break. Yeah, this is the machine that needs to be done. There's a dusting brush. I'm sure I saw it. Crevice tool. Somewhere. Where did I put that? It might be in here. Look, this is a bag of floor tools, which I think we need one of actually for the 350E. But none of those fit. None of those. Ah, there it is. I knew I found it somewhere. There we go. So well, if I'd have got the turbo head down, it would have been all right. Ooh, that's what we need. Yeah, we need that and this. The rest. I don't know what to do with the rest. Really. I'm going to have to just go back into the bag. I'm going to keep this floor head because this is my favourite floor head in the world. But yeah, I think we're getting to the stage now. Where all the rest are probably going to be okay. Look, there's that short, stumpy adapter, which I think is to turn like the replacement shorter hoses into this length, so that you could, you know, Electrox could just sell cheap modern ones rather than having to keep the old ones going. I think that's what that's for. Comment down below. So yeah, I've also got this nice. Well, say nice. It's brand new. Two tail design. I've still got a couple of these. The basic ones, or this one a bit fancier with its metal plate. I've got a couple of older electrolyte tools and this dolphin clone, which I don't think I need any of. Now. Right, that's the fancy one out of the way. Let's go get some more out from the hall. Right, let's get these two out of the way. This is how I try and store them in these cheapy, cheap, cheap big drawstring bags, and it does work quite well. Ah, this. It is, oh look it's faded again, the Z185 electronic and oh I'm glad I've seen this, look, I, I left myself a seal in the bottom of the bag, aren't I Kai? Yes this is the one that has been a part longer than I remember, this is actually the one that came with the Hot Point Super, which we haven't long done whether I get this video out. Before it's hard, the video, I don't know, but it came up beautifully. I did this. Especially now it's got a nice motor in it. Oh, very nice indeed. You could put a 2000 watt meter motor in one of these, but I think you just crack it with the abuse. This is what. Oh. I've been waiting to do this video to check that I don't need this hose and I'm pretty confident with the machines that we've got left that I don't. So this is the hose. Oh, why can't that go on? Oh, that's very... Ah, hang on. I've pushed the seal on past... This is from all these seals. They all fit in ever so slightly differently. But they're all the same. Yeah. In fact, I'm wondering if that's why I left this in here in the first place. Ah, uh, that's a little bit loose. Yeah. It pulls itself in all right. You don't look at that. That one. 
This is the hose that it should have had. And over here should be <laughs> the instruction manual. So we can confirm that, right, it should have two ones, not one. And I'm running a bit low on ones that don't have homes now, to be honest. And this is, again, one of those machines that never truly had its proper tools anyway. So I think, for now... What I'm going to do is give it all one literally, yeah, yeah, it can have this one, another one of those crimped end single long ones, that's very nice indeed, and then actually it can also, because again it, it never had, oh, it can do all sorts of nice things, this is probably going to be quite a nice head on it, eh. oh, let's just move it out of the way. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, no. I think, oh, actually, I'm going to actually give it the head that I like for now. Give it a beat, oh yeah, look at that one. It just flies over everything. Such a nice head. Turn it down. And it's still an incredibly nice head. Yeah, it should have had, well, if we were doing it right, it should have that head. But, I mean, I guess we probably should actually do it right, especially for this video, because I want to do a big group shot at the end of this. But make no mistake, I could probably never use it with this head. Look, look how much it ruins it. on there for very long at all but that works don't break that works well enough and i can call this one done excellent move we'll pop that just over there because we may as well unpackage the second vacuum cleaner which is the z330 oh please come undone yay this should be V330, yes there is its oh, hose end, oh there's the machine looking lovely with its nice replacement decals that somebody very kindly sent me from their garage vacuum. <laughs> I must have put that floor head with it, that's interesting isn't it? Oh we even have some tools which aren't for it, but obviously fit fine. Right, let's put this on. Oh, can I, yep, yeah, lefty loosey, righty tighty, and then, fairly confident to say that what I need to do now is the nicest of the longer, but with the simple crimped end tubes that I have, because that is this. Oh, now, I put this floor head with it, but do you remember from Barton's we found the actual same matching coloured one that this should have had. So all of a sudden, that can go away, the Electrolux Z330 that I got given pretty much and fixed up is now, oh look at how complete and nice it is. How lovely is that? It seems to have a bag in it. So I think we should put the hose in or we'll put that somewhere safe for another vacuum. Pull the cable out. Oh, yeah, that's, this one's got the nice Hercules plug on it. How lovely. Yeah. And there we go. What a nice sound that's just like to make. That's why they've been sitting for a few months. They're sort of drying out again, bless them. Oh, excellent. Finally got the head to go with the vacuum. I don't even fully mind 
this monovision or hose because my goodness it matches the machine absolutely fine and it's better than a worn out cloth one that I then want one of these anyway on. Oh excellent. Oh. Now in here should be pretty much the same vacuum cleaner. Why do I say that? Well because in here is Got a little bit faded. Uh -oh. This is my Z2000. Actually, that's not too bad. They were a bit green anyway when they were new. There's my Z2000, and in theory, ooh, well, we've got the ones, the floor head, and the hose. Did I put the rest in? Yes, I did. Let me have the dusting brush, crevice tool, a nice HEPA flow bag, the original bag inlet for if you have a paper bag and a bag closing slide. Marvellous. What's in here? Well this is a Z350 electronic. The one that I've had for a while now. I've got given it by an old family member actually. There we go. Nice electric with obviously the big circle in the top of it. Oh dear oh dear. But it's it's pretty mint. Oh, what's in here? There's something else in this bag. Ah, oh, it's completely mint. Bar that. <laughs> yeah, there we go. That looks better. And yeah, obviously I've now got two of these, so I think this one is going to be for sale and possibly a little bit cheaply because, I mean, it's got the hose. Does it have anything else inside of it? Oh, it does. We've got some filters, a crevice tool. Oh. A dusting brush, a bag, and the manuel. Very nice indeed. Oh, and it's seal for the bag when you use it with an actual proper bag. That's quite cool. Let's leave that out for a second. We'll put those back in. Put that back on. Yeah, obviously these are pretty much exactly the same machine, just a newer generation than this. Same motor. Bless their little hearts. Oh, this has fallen off again. Oh, it's been so long since we've used this for 12 vacuums in 12 months and then it went away. I've forgotten that the cord wheel doesn't wind the cable all the way in, even if you push it. There's nothing there. And this is broken, which is a huge shame because this was, and probably still well, go on, was going to go onto eBay because I'm done with it now and don't wish to keep it anymore. So. That's a bit of a shame. Yeah, there'll be some cheap electroluxes coming soon, folks. But other than that, all we are left with is this Electrolux 345, if you remember, with all the smashed bits, which we have somewhere. And I've also got its hose end. I've actually got a couple of these automatic floor tools. There's one there, one there, one there, one there, one there. Ah, smash. There oh, well, this is the one that it's going to keep. Because it's much nicer than that one. But yeah, we've got you know, a couple of floor heads. I mean, if we take these away from the 330, which I guess we should. Although, the 330 could have that dusting brush, which would be perfectly fine in my world for it. we actually nearly there with this. We just need, in theory, a brown hose end. Although we had the white one and a brown hose, of which, yes, I have one. So I'm going to sell my 345 and we'll concentrate on this another day but bar that the only other electrolux vacuum that i can think i've got is two of these and one's in the shed and this is the one that wasn't this i've had since new we used to use it in the flat because although it was a flat it had like three sets of stairs in it so there were a lot of stairs and we bought this to clean them you might remember it if go way back on my channel off the line there's this little crevice tool and so old it is look polystyrene remember that oh this bless it here it is all nicely packaged up oh now I can't get the flipping cable thing get off there we go I quite like these and as I say I've still got one so, I don't quite need this one as well. It's so powerful! It's wicked! It hurt the hose. And 
and dreamt it, you pull this forward, open this, and yeah, I used to vacuum that off religiously, which is why, bar being a little bit dirty, it's all right, and bless it, it doesn't need to sit in the loft anymore. It can be sold, I've got the other one, I don't need the box, but here's what the box looks like. Oh, I, just, I, I just haven't got the space to keep it. Don't really care enough about it. I've got another one in the shed. Look, it's even got its manual pack and everything that goes, ah, goes with it. How lovely. But yeah, crikey, I wonder what all this stuff looks like put together. And we are almost done. I forgot yet another thing, and it's to do with this 330. If we just take the hose off, rob its seal because this one doesn't have one. Ah, ow, off. Then unscrew this. What the? Oh, whatever. I have a new slash Barton's actual Z330 hose end. So, with a little bit of stopping around later, we can call it done. And there, oh my goodness, we go. This goes with the Turbomatic, and I think if one of those hoses falls, the whole lot is going to fall. I mean, if I just, yeah, oh. Um, I didn't quite realise there would be even just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 if you count the one in the shed, 19 if you count the other ZA65, <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah, 20 Electroluxes folks, Actually, that's a big number isn't it, that's a bigger number than I'd like really. So, um, this is now, you know, where I've put everything together. Roughly, no, we can still have one to spare. That's a bit annoying. But <laughs> all the machines have their stuff. So, from, I mean, let's get rid of all these tools, because that's just making this really difficult to do anything with, but I'll just not touch it. I mean, what's it, what do you reckon? Yeah. Oh, 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 no. Right, that read have been fine, but it's still very annoying. I'm going to get the tools away and we can concentrate more on the machines. Well, this is always the satisfying part of the video. I've been running around, oh, about six hours this has all taken. Yeah, I don't know how you chaps who have a lot of vacuums cope, because obviously, I mean, just out of shot over there is a teetering pile of suicidal bombs and hoses. Just to get this nice shot here, oh my goodness, if there's any young children watching, if your parents are watching, please keep an eye on your children because this happens and oh yeah, I haven't spent an awful lot of money on all of this. People think that collecting vacuums should cost a fortune and yes it can if you decide to go down that route, but blimey, I mean, £15 for that and the hot point. That was very generously bought for me by Mr. Ibasia. Traded a few refurbs and blimey Roger, you still got a few more to send my way. So if you need to, get in touch. This was free, that was free, that was free. I don't even know about those. Probably free. £15, I think. Oh, I can't even remember where this came from. It was probably free. Oh yes, Mr. Jake. Free. Uh, probably free. Uh, free for Mr. J, free from Mr. Court from Autoshite, free for Mr. Will. This was about £35 from Gumtree, free for Mr. J, free from another car loving friend of mine. I'd have paid full RRP for this back in the day, and I think it was on offer for £40. So, I mean, you know, the more expensive you go, the higher. You, the higher quality you get, but I think you can do all right if you scrabble around at the bottom at the end, like we do. And <laughs> these are all pretty much exactly the same again. The 65 and the Automatic G are the complete outliers in here because bar, there's two sizes of fan case. So for instance, this will have a slightly smaller motor than this. And if I'm I don't quite know which ones are which. I'd imagine they'd have the bigger motors. I think literally all of these pretty much have the same motor. Even the uprights, it's the same motor, just with a spindle 
on the end. It's quite astonishing, really, that from the 1950s, 70s, 60s, actually, yeah, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 80s, uh, 80s, 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 90s. You can see my bias quite clearly, but <laughs> obviously they're the easier things to get hold of. It's now 2023. If we were doing this 20, 30 years ago, we'd be picking those out of everywhere. I mean, if we were really lucky, we'd have got some more of those. This is quite good considering that most of these are now over 20 years old, most of them are over 30, some of them 40, blimey, that one over there is over 50 years old, and yeah, I'm quite looking forward to it, we've got loads to try yet, I am selling some, oh, seeing I can find a decent enough box, this lovely 345 is going, oh, I'm going to get rid of this 350E with a nice complete toolkit, if not completely original. The Z2000, which sadly has a little bit of damage to the rewind pedal, and as of just now, the cable seems to have stopped pulling itself all the way in. And now, trapped underneath. Don't kill the other vacuum cleaners. You've all had your turn. Don't fight. Yeah, look, it's all. Uh, Army. I might actually be able to sell, I might still have a dolphin cord reel from Barton's, which I could probably sell with that, although that wouldn't fix the pedal. This is going to be for sale as well. So that's got rid of four. I need to stop hoarding vacuum cleaners. I don't live in a big enough house to do it. This is all just sort of accidental, really, and it just got to the point where they can all come out. So the rest of these we will see soon. We have some before refurb, no we've, done, no, we've done all the before videos now, we've got ones to refurbish, those three, and then we've got lots to wait, oh yeah, and that one to refurbish, and this one, then we've got some to 12 vacuums in 12 months, and that's when that spreadsheet that I had came from, so you will see a lot of these again, not going to be 12 vacuums in 12 months for July, I've already planned that one out, and have looked forward to the machine I'm going to use, so come August, we will choose an Electrolux. Let me know down below in the comments which one I should use first, as long as it's not this one or this one yet, because they've still got their original suppressors in, and I'm not using that. Or the Lux 1R, or that Z65. Anything else, though, is a fair game. And yeah, how many of these have you ever had, or do have now, and obviously any fond memories, happy accident memories, etc., do let me know in the comments. But... Until the next time, I and my horde of suction cleaners will see you soon. Bye-bye.